Senator Merkley. Um, let me just uh, take a moment to note that in FSGG, one of the issues that I'm very concerned about is that uh, Postmaster General DeJoy has been downgrading the mail transfer centers. And in my home state, this means that in both uh, Eugene and Medford, Central Oregon, that is the uh, middle Willamette Valley, and Southern Oregon, all the mail now has to go to Portland, Oregon to be redistributed. We are seeing significant delays in mail, and I think this is in many states around the country. So I know that Maine, uh, Vice Chair has, has seen this as, as well. Uh, this is really devastating. The idea that you send mail to somebody in your own town and it has to go 300 miles to the north to Portland and then 300 miles back. Joy says this results in no delay. You cannot truck something 500 to 600 miles and not have a delay. This is following the downgrade in Bend in Central Oregon on the other side of the uh, Cascade Mountains so that that has to go across the mountains and, and go back. Uh, the, uh, this plan, Delivering for America, it's really about delivering mail slowly for America, and it means a continuous disincentive to use the mail service, which de degrades the uh, source of, of revenues, uh, further compl comp complicating the success of, of the department. I know folks in my state, DeJoy said nobody's complaining, so I put out a, a question, how's it going? I received hundreds of letters saying it's going extremely poorly, people relating to their, their receive of medications, their ability to ship goods from small businesses, particularly in rural America. I am extremely disturbed about what's happening in the Postal Service. I suspect many members here are seeing similar things in the rural parts of their state. And I hope we can find a way to create a lot more pressure to save the postal system from DeJoy. There is no joy in DeJoyville <laughs> at this moment. Madam Chair. <laughs> Vice Chair Collins. Go ahead. I just want to associate myself with the comments made by Senator Merkley. Uh, this is a terrible plan that the Postmaster General has come up with that would cause huge delays in the delivery of mail by consolidating uh, the processing centers. In a state like mine, which is such a large rural state, it would result in mail have to, having to go 10 hours to be sorted and then go back to the community that's 10 miles away. And it is a huge problem. We've had a hearing on the proposal in Maine. And one reason I hope that we do get to the FSGG bill is there is report language on this issue. In Maine, the Postmaster General has put a temporary pause on the, re, um, the consolidation plan. Uh, but it simply makes no sense. And ironically, the result is going to be that the Postal Service will lose customers. And that's the last thing that we want to see happen. Um, I've also noted right in my own neighborhood, but I hear reports from across the state, that we're no longer receiving daily mail delivery. And that is a real problem for seniors who receive medication via the mail and veterans as well. Um, so I do hope that we can get to the FSGG bill because there is report language on this very important subject that so matters to our constituents. So thank you for bringing it up. Senator Shaheen. Um, Madam Chair, if, it, if it's in order to continue to talk about this issue, I, I would like to add my support for the remarks of both Senators Merkley and Collins. Um, we are extremely concerned in New Hampshire about what the Postal Service is doing. They intend to reduce mail processing locally in New Hampshire by cutting it out entirely from our state, sending it to Massachusetts and then back to New Hampshire. It's totally unacceptable. And the Postmaster General informed Congress when there was a public outcry about this earlier that he was going to suspend all of these changes until January 1st of 2025. But what we are hearing in New Hampshire from local stakeholders is that the Postal Service has gone ahead 
with these uh, proposals. They're already moving equipment out of New Hampshire. I think this is totally unacceptable, and, and I agree. We know there's report language in FSGG, but let me just raise my concern about CBO's analysis of report language, because we put in um, language that would prevent the Postal Service from moving forward with those changes, just as the Postmaster said months ago, and the CBO has said that that scored as costing money, even though it was report language. I don't understand how CBO figures that, but I think that they need to think carefully about how directing the Postal Service to comply with what it told Congress it was doing two months ago could actually cost money. So I, I don't know what this committee can do about it, but boy, I think we ought to raise our concerns with not just the Postal Service, but CBO about what's going on here.